Before making a decision, you should fully understand the risks and benefits associated with the procedure. Your orthopedic surgeon will explain the potential risks and complications of knee replacement surgery, including those related to the surgery itself and those that can occur over time after your surgery. Blood clots in the leg veins or pelvis are the most common complication of knee replacement surgery. Your orthopedic surgeon may prescribe one or more measures to prevent blood clots from forming in your leg veins. Serious complications such as joint infection occur in fewer than 2% of patients. The performance of knee replacements depends on age, weight, activity level, and other factors. There are potential risks and recovery takes time. People with conditions limiting rehabilitation should not have this surgery. Only an orthopedic surgeon can tell if knee replacement is right for you. Some of the fears that I had prior to surgery were being under anesthesia that long, what the recovery period was going to be like, just exactly what they were going to do to me and how it was going to affect me. Anyone contemplating knee replacement surgery clearly has a problem with their mobility. They will know when it's time to have knee surgery because the pain becomes intense and the activity levels are so restricted. My surgeon told me all about the, the knee in advance, had uh, graphic descriptions of the way the knee worked and showed me exactly how the mobile bearing knee would be able to facilitate and mimic the, the real knee operation. As I was going down to have the surgery, you think about reservations, but the fact was you have reservations in it, but you feel you, you wouldn't be there if you didn't know you had the problem. The decision to have surgery is difficult for many people. You'll likely have fears and concerns, but your doctor can help. The right time to have surgery is based on the severity of your osteoarthritis, level of pain and immobility, and other factors. It's natural to be fearful about surgery. Yet many patients wish they had done it sooner once they rediscover the activities they enjoyed before the surgery, with increased mobility and reduced or relief of pain. In preparation of knee replacement surgery, your physician or internist will conduct a thorough medical evaluation, including any necessary medical tests. You may also be asked to attend a pre-operative educational class about your upcoming knee replacement. The more educated you are prior to surgery, the easier your post-operative treatment will likely be. Your doctor may recommend exercises or suggest physical therapy before surgery so you can stretch and strengthen your muscles to speed your recovery. Many patients arrange to have a caregiver, family, friends, or temporary help after surgery to help with everyday activities such as bathing, grooming, moving around, managing the household, and running errands. You will most likely be admitted to the hospital a few hours prior to surgery. After your joint replacement, you will spend some time in the recovery room before being moved to a hospital room. Although each patient recovers differently, an average hospital stay is four days. During this time, pain medication will be available to help ease your discomfort. Within 24 hours of your surgery, you will begin walking with the aid of an assistive device such as a walker or crutches. The physical therapist will also teach you the safest methods for getting in and out of bed or a chair, dressing, and using walking aids while you're regaining your strength. You will be taught the do's and don'ts of joint replacement recovery and should quickly start walking and doing exercises. Also during your hospital stay, you will work with a physical therapist to gradually increase your knee strength, mobility, and range of motion. Although you may experience some pain during physical therapy, your hard work now will aid in your recovery and help you get back to the life you love. You'll also learn isometric exercises, which tighten muscles without moving the joint. You will be instructed to do these exercises a number of times per day. Your physical therapist will encourage you to move your ankle and other joints to remain strong. By the time you leave the hospital, 
You should be progressing well in regaining your mobility and stability. Before you are discharged, you'll also receive instruction for your at-home recovery, including exercise, precautions, and personal care. If your sutures or clips have to be removed, you will be advised about who will remove them and where this will be done. It is extremely important to follow your surgeon's and physical therapist's instructions when you return home. So I saw a pretty aggressive uh, physical therapist who explained that I needed to break down the scar tissue so that I would have the flex and the bend that I wanted to be able to be active. And admittedly, the first two weeks were not comfortable, but it was only two weeks. The, my, my knee recovery, I, I uh, walked in 24 hours with Walker and then I was in the hospital for three more days and then I went uh, uh, to, to a, uh, well, I went home and uh, began to do, luckily my wife Diane uh, could do the, a lot of the things that helped me out because I couldn't move around. We, were, we lived on level we have a level home and, and so forth. I didn't need to go downstairs or do anything, and so we had those things. But it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a piece of cake. It, uh, it does take a little bit of um, focus. The rehabilitation recovery process for me um, was mostly about my attitude and my perspective on it going into it. I'd already made my mind up that my goal was to be independent as quickly, as reasonably, and safe as possible. Um, and I shared that with my physical therapist and thankfully they were just as focused as I was to get me up and moving. I was on crutches for a few weeks, I was on a cane for several days, and after that I was up walking. Oh, the rehab process is directly related to the amount of exercise and preparation that you make before you go into the operation. The better shape you are when you go in, the easier it is to be able to rehab. Leaving the hospital with your new knee can be very exciting and a little unnerving. In the hospital, you had access to nurses and other healthcare professionals around the clock. Now you're returning to your independence. You'll still have the support of your healthcare team as you resume daily activities after knee replacement surgery, and you'll enjoy the comforts of home. However, this may be an uncertain time for you. You will continue the exercises you began in the hospital and gradually increase the number and duration of the exercises. Patients who have had knee replacement tend to agree that the exercise program is crucial. If you used a continuous passive motion machine in the hospital, your healthcare team may ask you to continue with it at home. This device is used to gently flex and extend the knee joint. During recovery, you will progress from using your walker or crutches to a cane. If you have no problems, you'll graduate to walking on your own. Eventually, you will be allowed to climb stairs. In most cases, patients begin with smaller height steps and gradually progress to standard height steps. You will also be advised to gradually increase household activities, such as cooking, cleaning, and doing laundry. You will be allowed to take a shower without limitations when your incision heals. Between six and 12 weeks after surgery, New exercises may be added to your regimen, such as toe and heel raises, partial knee bends, hip abduction, leg balance, and riding a stationary bicycle. Your surgeon will tell you when you can return to activities like walking without a cane, walker, or crutches, driving a car, and returning to work. Of course, determining the date you return to work will depend on the type of work you do, an office worker places less stress on a knee than a construction worker. People who do manual labor or tasks requiring squatting or climbing steep stairs may have to discuss vocational counseling with their surgeon. Staying active during recovery will help control your weight and maintain muscle tone. There will be some limitations, but taking the time to recover is worth the inconvenience. You'll need to consult with your surgeon about returning to work, sports, and other recreational activities. You may experience some pain throughout your recovery. Just remember this is normal, and it may take a few to several months before your pain subsides completely. 
Well, I'd have to tell you knee surgery was a life-changing event for me. I mean, clearly I was debilitated before the operation. I couldn't do the things I wanted to do. And after the knee operation and the rehab period, now I can do anything I want to do. Since I've had the knee surgery, I am much more fluid on the dance floor. And the thing that I love the most of all is that the morning after, I'm actually able to get up, walk around, and do all those things that I need to do and not crawl or sit or have to wait 15 minutes and stretch and massage everything out before I can get up and get my day started. My level of pain prior to my knee replacement was very high and it was very difficult. And since the replacement, I have no pain. The most successful part of the rehabilitation for me was the steady decline in swelling in the knee. I had not had a knee that looked like a knee in 20 years. And all of a sudden now my knee was coming back to look like a real knee. And that's exciting to be able to go home at night and understand that. I can sit down in a table without having to go through a contortion. Um, and probably the most significant thing was an old time friend, my parents and stuff, saw me walking through the grocery store and says, what happened to your limp? And that was the, that was the day I knew that I crossed the river. I have no pain, I can walk, I can hike, I can, I'm getting, I'm going to Everest Base Camp next uh, May. So, uh, you know, it's, the difference is night and day. It is extremely important to follow your surgeon's and physical therapist's instructions carefully in the weeks and months after surgery and to keep up with your exercises. Don't participate in high-impact activities or team sports with a high risk of injury. Also, be careful not to twist your knee. Instead, turn your entire body to avoid stress on your knee. You'll also want to avoid imposing any jarring forces on your knee or lifting heavy objects. Before you undergo any other medical procedure, such as dental work, inform your physicians about your knee replacement surgery. Knee replacement procedures are generally successful in relieving pain and restoring movement. The longevity of an implant varies, depending on your age, activity level, and many other factors. The more demand that is placed on the knee replacement, the greater the potential for wear and failure over time. In addition, longevity may also be dependent on the type of implant used. With the advanced joint replacement technology available today, patients with severe arthritis no longer have to live with pain, stiffness, and reduced mobility. You now have the information you need to talk with your doctor about whether joint replacement is the right option for you. We hope this educational information has given you a better understanding of knee replacement as a possible treatment option. Arthritis diminishes your quality of life, reduces your independence, and makes it difficult, if not impossible, to do the things you want to do. Knee replacement can reduce pain and restore mobility by replacing the diseased, worn-out surfaces of the joint. Talk with your surgeon about selecting the one that fits your life and allows you to get back to doing the things you love. When it comes to choosing a knee replacement, you'll want to talk with your surgeon about selecting the one that fits your life and allows you to get back to doing the things you love. Since Sigma Knees from Depew Orthopedics Incorporated come in a wide range of sizes, shapes, and materials, your surgeon can fit you with a knee that will provide a more natural feel and movement. Imagine dancing, playing a round of golf, or just moving about freely. Thanks to Sigma Knees, more than a million people are experiencing these simple pleasures again. Two types of clinically proven Sigma Knees are available from Depew Orthopedics to help restore mobility and reduce pain. Fixed bearing and rotating platform knees. Your surgeon will choose the best option for you based on your specific needs, taking into account your age, weight, and activity level. Fixed bearing knees are the most widely used knee replacements. The design of the Sigma fixed bearing knee provides stability of the knee replacement and distributes pressure evenly throughout the joint 
which helps reduce wear. Depew also offers two types of rotating platform knees and was the first company to receive FDA approval on mobile bearing knee technology. Rotating platform knees, a type of mobile bearing knee, are unique because they are designed to accommodate normal movement while minimizing implant wear when compared to traditional knee replacements. The Sigma knee has allowed me to get back to that level of participation of life, which I have been compromising the last 10 years due to the, to the pain and the restrictions of the swelling mostly in the knee that uh, constrained what my activity was, even as far as sitting down and, and being comfortable for a full dinner at the table. The Sigma knee has allowed me to start exploring life on my terms now by my choices and not based around chronic pain in that I can move and my range of motion is much better. I can now work on flexibility and I'm not as tight as I used to be. So it's just improved everything. Hi, I'm Coach K. Like you, I've experienced the pain and loss of mobility because of osteoarthritis. I couldn't do all the things I wanted to do anymore. So for me, my family, and for my team, I chose to have a Depew joint replacement. I am now living out my dreams, and I encourage you to ask your doctor if a Depew joint replacement might be right for you. For more information, visit our website at www.kneereplacement.com.